so hello everyone welcome to my channel mm class today we will be discussing a topic on the circuit analysis solving integral differential equation using phasor approach now let us review what is phasor first so a phasor is a complex number that represents the amplitude and phase of a sinusoid it provides a simple means of analyzing linear circuits excited by sinusoidal sources. Solutions of such circuits would be intractable otherwise. Now in differentiating a sinusoid, it is equivalent to multiplying its corresponding phasor by j omega. So remember that j denotes the imaginary number, this is the square root of negative 1. And omega is our angular frequency, also equivalent to 2 pi f. So if we have dv dt, the time domain, so that's equivalent to j omega b, the phasor domain. Now in integrating a sinusoid, that is equivalent to dividing its corresponding phasor by j omega. So if you have integral of v dt in the time domain, so that is equivalent to v over j omega in the phasor domain. Now, to fully understand, let's have some examples. So, using the phasor approach, determine the current I of t in a circuit described by the integral differential equation 4i plus 8 integral of i dt minus 3 d i dt is equal to 50 cosine of 2t plus 75 degrees. Now, let's solve. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, identify this one. Vm cosine omega t plus phi. So Vm here is the amplitude. The omega is, of course, the angular frequency. And that is in terms of regions per second. Then we have phi, which is equal to the phase angle in degrees and of course the t is time now if we convert this into phasor form that is equivalent to 50 angle of phi which is 75 degrees now let's simplify the equation so 4i plus 8i over j omega minus 3j omega times i now let's substitute the given omega or the angular frequency which is equal to 2 so 4i plus 8i over j times 2 minus 3j times 2i is equal to 50 angle of 75 degrees let's just simplify 4i over j minus 6ji equal to 50 angle of 75 degrees. Now for this one, we know that 1 over j is equal to negative j. So let's just put the j on the numerator. So this will be negative for ji minus 6ji is equal to 50 angle of 75 degrees now let's factor out the i so we have 4 minus 10j now we can uh, look for the i I is now equal to 50 angle of 75 degrees over 4 minus 10 J. So you can just type it in your calculator, complex mode, and you will get 4.642 angle of 143.2 degrees. And that's ampere. So, in time domain form, we have I of t equal to 4.642 
cosine of 2t and the angle that we got is 143.2. So that is the answer. Now let's have another example. So using the phasor approach, find the voltage V of T and a circuit described by the integral differential equation 2 dV dt plus 5V plus 10 integral of V dt is equal to 50 cosine of 5T minus 30 degrees. So same process as what we did earlier. So we have 2 J omega V plus 5V plus 10 V over J omega is equal to 50 angle of the angle is negative 30 degrees now let's substitute the angular frequency which is 5 so 2J times 5 plus 5V plus 10 V over J times 5 is equal to 50 angle of negative 30 degrees. Let's just simplify. We have 10 J V plus 5 V, then 10 over 5. Then let's put J in the numerator. We have negative 2 J V is equal to 50 angle of negative 30 degrees. Then let's factor out the V. We have 10 J plus 5 minus 2j is equal to 50 angle of negative 30 degrees then let's look for a v that's equal to 50 angle of negative 30 degrees and 5 plus 8j so that is equal to 5.3 angle of negative 87.99 degrees or negative 88 degrees so in time domain we have VFT equal to 5.3 given as cosine 5D so we have 5.3 cosine of 5D minus 88 degrees volts so that is our final answer so that's it for this topic. So if you have some questions, just comment below. Thank you for watching.